Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out an extreme skin tightening mask. If you want to stay updated with future videos that I post, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. For those of you who have already subscribed, I want to give a big thank you to everyone out there because my channel has surpassed 1.4 million subscribers, which is incredible. My mind is blown. I've been on YouTube land for over three years now and just being where I am today is incredible. One of the best memories I've had on my journey was being invited to be a judge on SK2's Beauty Bound competition. This was like two years ago and I think my channel was only on about like 70 or 80,000 subscribers and back then I still thought that was amazing. Now Beauty Bound is back and bigger than ever so SK2 has created a web series in search of Asia's next top beauty blogger. There's 64 contestants from all over the world, eight different countries and they're all competing for this one title of being Asia's next top beauty blogger. I've been watching this Singapore series and it really brings me back to a few years ago when and I was just starting my channel and it was just a hobby for me and I only dreamed of being a well-known beauty blogger. So watching these girls compete for this title, it really hits home for me. If you wanna check out the series, I'll leave the link below so you can binge watch it like me. Hopefully when you watch the girls competing, it'll inspire you to follow your dreams and change your destiny. The mask I'm using today is called the Monster Pack Mask and it's by a Korean company called Tosso Wong. Tosso Wong? Tosso Wong. I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the brand. I got this mask online on Mimi Box and it retails for $29. And basically what this product does is help with dead skin cells, it helps with blackheads, large pores and excess sebum. What's really unique about this product is that when you apply it onto your skin, it starts to tighten your skin almost immediately. You leave it on for around like 10 to 15 minutes and it looks like your skin has been like pinched and almost like really wrinkly. And I guess that's why they call it the monster pack mask because you kind of look like a monster when you have it on. I've seen like photos online and it does look pretty bizarre. It kind of looks like it hurts, which I'm kind of concerned and scared because it kind of just like shrink wraps your skin almost. But it does claim to help with large pores and lately I've been getting a lot of blackheads around my nose. You can't see it here, but if I show you this photo, you can see it. I'm hoping this product helps to shrink my pores and remove my blackheads. So let's give it a go. Before I apply the mask, I'm gonna put on my cute headband from Etude House. I got this online for like seven, eight dollars. I'm gonna pop it on. Oh yeah, that's super cute. I know a lot of you get annoyed when you see like hair going in my face and you always comment and say, tie your hair up. So this is my solution. I'm not too sure what animal ears this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a cat? It can't be a rabbit. I don't know, a polar bear? I don't know. Now I am ready to try the monster mask. It's new so I have to rip the foil off. It smells nice. Kind of smells like, like bubble gum with a strong citrusy flavor. Yeah, so when it comes out, it looks like this kind of transparent yellow color. Oh, it's gonna draw it. I'm just using my hands to apply it on my skin. I'm just gonna apply a thin layer, not too thick, because this isn't a peel off mask. You can see that I'm breaking out. <gasps> What's happening? It's probably because I haven't tried a mask in ages, and I think that's my beauty secret, guys. I just try so many masks that it keeps my skin on its toes. It doesn't know what to expect. Okay, so I'm just spreading this out. I'm not gonna go too close to my eyes because I know this product is gonna like start tightening. Oh, dropped it. Not gonna get my eyebrows. Just gonna avoid that. It actually feels really nice to apply in the skin because it smells really nice and it has like a cooling gel sensation. I just realized why so much came out before. I didn't put the lid back on where I moved the foil. Duh. And now we wait for the skin tightening. I don't know if I can speak once this thing starts to like tighten up and harden. I'm gonna try my best. It's been about three minutes and I can feel it starting to tighten around here, especially because when I talk, I can feel that my mouth is a little bit restricted. Apparently you're supposed to not move your face. You don't wanna like 
start moving your face around because once it starts to tighten, it could irritate your skin and crack a lot. So you don't want that. So I'm just gonna try to keep a straight face, no expression, just like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's starting to really tighten up here and around my mouth. Oh, especially around here. I really can't talk. I'll put subtitles below, just in case you guys can't understand me. My head's all wrinkly. Ew. I look like I'm so old right now. It's dry on this side. And I can just feel it shrinking my skin. Look at that. It's just so gathered up. My forehead feels so funny. It just feels so tight right now. I just can't speak. Oh my god. I look like I have been burnt. Okay, now I'm going to go and wash it off. I'm doing sorry language now. What the hell? I'm back and I can finally speak to you properly again. As soon as that water hit my face when I started washing my face, it felt so good. I just felt my skin release and relax. And it was really easy to wash off. It kind of just turns back into that gel and you can wash it off really easily. There's no sticky residue. In fact, I feel like my skin feels a little bit dry. But that just means I need to pop on some moisturizer. In regards to how it looks, I feel like my skin is heaps brighter and I can definitely see a little bit of shrinkage around here. It does feel like my pores are much more tight. However, I still see blackheads. It's not like a miracle treatment, but it does tighten up the pores. I'm also surprised that my skin isn't red and irritated considering how strong that skin tightening effect is. And I think the trick to that is you just really try not to move your face. Just don't talk, don't even raise your eyebrows, don't smile, just keep a straight face. The less you move it, the less your skin will irritate. If you have sensitive skin, I would highly recommend you do a patch test first because there are unusual ingredients in this like volcano ash, silk cocoon extracts unless you know you're allergic to that then don't try it I would highly recommend a patch test though now it's time for me to rate the product I'm gonna give this monster pack mask an 8 out of 10 at first I really thought it was gonna be like a gimmicky product but it does actually work and it works really well and it's really unique I've never tried anything like it it's a really weird sensation that you feel on your skin it extremely tightens it and it feels it just feels like you've been shrink wrapped. I do really like the smell of this and I like that you don't have to keep it on for extremely long, only like 10 to 15 minutes and you can really see the results. Plus it's super easy to wash off and it's, it's pretty much pain free, it doesn't hurt at all. The only negative thing I'd have to say about it is that I feel that $29 for this is a little bit more on the expensive end for a mask. But I guess you do get a lot of applications, you get 100 grams in this. Also, if you have sensitive skin, I don't know if this product will be amazing on your skin because there are some exotic ingredients in it, so make sure you do a patch test beforehand. What did you guys think about the mask? Would you dare try this Monster Pack mask? Your skin looks really bizarre and it's just really weird, but would you give it a go? What would you rate it out of 10? Anyways, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. Thank you so much for tuning in. Also, I wanna let you guys know that I'll be doing some beauty giveaways on my Instagram and Snapchat, so make sure you follow me on both accounts. And if you wanna stay updated with future videos, click the subscribe button below, and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.